Welcome to Mr. Mackey's class. This is the Literature Lab. So now that it's February, I want to say Happy Black History Month to everybody, and I will definitely be re definitely be incorporating that into my lesson today. So Mr. Mackey's daily quote is, "My potential is limitless." Brianna, what does that mean to you? Um, to me, I think it means that you can do whatever you put your mind to and you can, you know, as long as you strive to do whatever it is that you feel you have the potential to do, you can do it no matter, like, you, there's no cap, there's no limit, you just keep progressing. Absolutely. So I want us to apply this daily quote today with our lesson and um, moving forward, I want us to use your academic skills and learning and stuff like that when we're learning in my course, okay? Great. Mm -hmm. So the lesson for the day is we're going to be reviewing a poem by Langston Hughes in honor of Black History Month. Uh, we'll be annotating one of his poems called Dreams. The objective of today's lesson is to annotate for deeper meaning in a literary text. Um, so to give you guys a little background information on Langston Hughes, he's an American poet, playwright from Missouri, and he's best known as a leader during the Harlem Renaissance, okay? So the poem is, and I'm gonna read it for you guys, Dreams. Hold fast to dreams for it dreams die. Life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. All right, so let's start with the annotations and things to pay attention to when we're analyzing a poem, okay? So the first thing that I want us to pay attention to is the punctuation. Um, Langston Hughes purposefully placed only two periods into his poem, um, and that's why I read the first two stances in a continuous way, um, and I only stopped after the last sentence, right? Okay. The second thing I want us to focus on is the rhyme scheme. So for particularly dreams, Langston Hughes wrote in an ABCB, ABCP, ABCB, sorry, format. Um, can I have seven tell me which lines in stanza one um, they, they rhyme? For if dreams die and that cannot fly. Thank you so much. You are correct. Um, does this happen for both stanzas, Leslie? Sorry, I was muted. Um, go and snow. It happens in go and snow as well. Perfect. All right. And then the last thing I want us to pay attention to are the metaphors in the poem. So um, the first one being broken wing, bird, and barren. Um, so Langston Hughes specifically, he uses a broken wing bird in life as a metaphor and he uses a barren in life as a metaphor in this poem. Um, so can someone tell me, it doesn't matter who goes, what does Langston Hughes mean by dreams? Is this literal dreams that you dream at night or is it a different type of dream? Um, can you go back to the slide with the poem, please? Yes. Thank you. I think that, um, well, he says, life is a broken wing bird, right? Mm -hmm. And for if dreams die, like life is a broken wing bird. And so I think he, the purpose of life is to dream and to live out those dreams. And so without those things, without dreams, life is functionless, if that makes sense. Because, you know, if your wings are broken, how do you fly? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And then for the last metaphor, I love that usage of the metaphor. For the last metaphor, um, typically a barren field is an unfruitful or um, like an unfruitful field that's very dry and is not able to produce any crops. So basically saying hold fast to those dreams, those aspirations, those things that you want to do in life. And if you don't, if you allow your dreams to go, it will be frozen with snow. So it'd be very cold and lifeless, okay? So lastly, I have a song time. I have a song for us. It's a song time. And the song is called Metaphor. So I'm going to start and then you guys repeat after me, okay? 
Okay. I call. Me to four, me at to four, me to four, me at to four. You don't have to use like or as. You don't, don't have, have to use, use like, like or as. as. You say your comparison just like that. You say you your comparison better. just like yes. that. Me to fours, me at to fours, me. To fours, Matt. To fours. All right. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful class.